My favourite thing about summer is going to the beach. Life's leisure. Lovely sunny weather. No snow. Hate snow. <laughs> Sitting in the sun. Loads of jobs. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not thinking about Christmas yet, no. Not yet, no. No. No, no not yet, no. <laughs> We're definitely, definitely not thinking about Christmas. No. <laughs> yes, we've been thinking about Christmas ever since the 1st of January. What we sell is political, historical and literary gifts. Primarily tea towels, aprons, mugs, wash bags, a whole load of other items that, that, that people are interested in. Christmas is huge for us. We make about 75% of our sales in November and December. In the first couple of months of the year, we tend to review how things have gone the previous year and the previous Christmas and figure out what designs were really popular, what's selling, what's not. This year, well, we had to focus on raising money to make sure that we could buy all of that, the stock that we needed in advance, and then give the manufacturers some time to, to make the products, which has really been happening you know, in March, April, and that will keep happening right the way through to the end of summer. Well, we start seeing more interest on the website in October, but it's really November and December where we get a huge increase in visitors. We sold about a thousand of this particular uh, product line last year and then we ran out of stock. So that's been a lesson for us that you know we need to really make some kind of a judgment call based on that past data, based on anticipating. It really ramps up uh, mid-November, but from September it will gradually start to build up. We get some temp staff that come in and help us. Um, our directors come in and they help. It's literally all hands on deck. Some businesses love it because it's a way they can really um, put their products on sale, boost their sort of ranking and SEO, but other businesses don't like it because it's a US tradition, you know, they don't think it has a place and it kind of takes the soul out. In terms of working out what's best for you for Black Friday, it's just asking yourself what like your values are and what can work for you. So I think for small businesses who are getting ready for Christmas, you want to start planning really early and I think having like a contingency plan in place so is there people you can call on to ask for help if you're really busy is where can you get last minute stock or packaging and planning out all of those things as soon as like august because then you don't have to worry about it when november and december hits